Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do binomial distributions on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to start off with this question, what we've got is we've got 40% chance of winning. So that means our P is going to be 0 0.4. Then we're also looking at playing 10 rounds. So that means N is equal to 10. Now, if we look at the first question, the qu first question is asking for at most winning at most four rounds. So that means we are looking for a probability of X less than or equal to four. Now to do this on this particular calculator, what we want to do is switch on the calculator, click the home button, go into distributions. Now, because we are looking for less than or equal to four, we're going to use the binomial CD function. So we're going to go down to binomial CD. We're going to click enter or exe. Go down to variable exe. Now it says x is the number that we want to put here. Now this is something that we need to know about binomial or even uh, any kind of cumulative distributions on these calculators. When you put the number four, what it does is the calculator actually calculates for anything including four and under. So it's actually doing zero, one, two, three, and four. Now n in this case is going to be 10 and then our probability of success is 0.4. So just to kind of recap that, what it what the calculator is actually doing is when we put in, we've got four, five, six, when we're actually putting in that x is equal to four, it actually covers zero, one, two, three, and four as well. So when we click execute, we're going to get a probability and the probability of x less than or equal to 4 is going to be 0 0.6331. Now, looking at the second part of this question, we are looking for a probability that they win more than 6 rounds. Now, to win more than 6 rounds, we're going to write it like this, probability of x greater than 6. And if we were to look at these numbers, and I'm only going to put a few numbers here. So we've got 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and, you know, up to 10. If we're looking for more than 6, we're actually looking for 7, 8, 9, and 10. I've not written down the 9 and 10 values, but basically it's that right there. But our calculator only works up to a number. So what we could do is we could actually use the calculator to find the probability of up to 6, with 6 included, and then do 1 minus that. So in our calculators, we're going to go back to our calculators. We're going to change x to 6, and n is still 10, 0.4 as probability, and we're going to click Execute. So what we're getting here is when we calculate probability of x less than or equal to 6, we're going to get 0 0.9452. And if we want to find probability of x greater than 6, we can say that this is 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to 6, which is 1 minus 0 0.9452. I'm running out of space here. So I'm just going to go into the main menu and calculate. And I'm going to go 1 minus 0 0.9452. And when I do this, I'm going to get a fraction. I'm just going to Click shift, shift EXC, and that's going to give me a probability of 0 0.0548. Now, apologies about the tight space squeeze there, but... And folks, that's pretty much how you do binomial distribution on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator.